Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. So as you can see, I am out here with the swather again. Um, I did cut the area that I said I was going to along with a little bit more. So we got this little area swathed. We got this finished and we got this little one done. And then I did a little bit of this ditch right here. Uh, I did an up pass and a down pass. And then uh, I came over here and I cut this little patch here. Uh, oh, I forgot to cut back into there. But um, And now I'm working on this one. So in this episode, we're just going to work on some ditch uh, haymaking. So we're going to cut this one over to about here. And then kind of go down along. Cut this one out. And then we'll jump over here and cut this little patch out. And then I got to go cut that little bit that I missed uh, right down in there. Uh, this, These ditches, I'm not going to rake. I'm just going to go ahead and bail them. Um, you know, just the way that they are. So these are a little bit easier to kind of um, do a little bit differently. Because I don't have to worry about raking them up later. So... But uh, we have gotten quite a bit of hay laid down on the ground already. And I don't know why this stupid thing insists on coming up all the time. It's really starting to annoy me. But um, yeah, so I can do things a little bit differently with this when I'm not raking it. And it's nice. You know, it's nicer because I don't have to do things a certain way. I don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that I can rake it easily. But then again, I do also have to kind of make sure that it's going to be somewhat easy to bail. Because if it's not easy to bail, then it's going to be pointless to have even cut in the first place because I can't pick it up. But um, we should be okay. As long as I don't do anything too crazy, <laughs> uh, we should be quite alright. I haven't decided quite yet if we are going to need to plant a field of hay or if what we are cutting will uh, be enough. I'm thinking that what we're cutting right now should hopefully be enough. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm not exactly sure though if this is all going to work out to be enough uh, or not. But like I said, I would sure hope it will be. <clears throat> now, like I said a, a couple of times now, I'm not exactly sure how many bales we are going to need to make it through the winter time. Uh, or, well, I guess like the late mid, mid fall uh, all the way through to next spring. Uh, I'm, I don't think it'll be a whole lot. Uh, right now we're only at 16. So I'm thinking maybe by the time we finish bailing all of this, all these ditches and all this other stuff that we're going to cut uh, here around the farm, I think we should be okay. Uh, I'm hoping so. Anyways, I would think so. But it's going to depend on how many bales we actually get. Uh, if we can get at least 50, I think we should be, I think we should be fine with 50. Um, maybe a little more, give or take. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too sure how many we are going to need. Uh, I know that we'll need quite a few, but like if we were to make 100, that'd be 400,000 liters of. Uh, grass that we would have and I mean that's that's about twice as much silage as we have so I think if we can make 50 we'd have you know then we'd have 200,000 liters of hay so I think you know 50 bales of grass and 50 bales of straw maybe let's see because if we look 
So, yeah, they take each of these things individually. They take straw individually for the um, bedding, and then they take the hay slash grass uh, for feed, silage for feed, and then the TMR. So, I mean, we, we will need a fair amount of everything, but when we, you know, if we're only going to have 20 cows and our feed should last six days, or no, it's three days, you know, so we feed three times in a season, roughly, we should be, uh, okay, and I mean, if we fill the mixer wagon each time and then for straw, we'll do like two bales or so, three, however many we need. I mean, I don't think we should need a huge amount of bales, <clears throat> but if we do make, you know, a bunch of hay and then it turns out to not be enough, there is always the option to buy it, so if we have to do that, we can. Uh, I think if we did end up buying hay, we would probably just rent, like, a another small loader of some sort, whether it be, like, a skid steer or something else. And then we'd use the PJ trailer to haul the hay. Uh, and then we could use our, you know, leave our 826 up here and use it to unload and stack the hay. And then use the, um, you know, whatever we rent to load the hay and straw and whatever else we have to buy. But uh, I think that's probably the way that we would end up doing it. So... I'm hoping we don't have to buy hay though. I also don't want to make like tons of tons and tons of hay and we don't need all of it cuz you know then we're kind of spending a lot of extra time making all this hay. Uh, I mean of course it is good to have some extra but I don't want to have a super huge amount of extra sitting around that you know we can't use that we spent a lot of time working on all this hay and not quite as much time working on some of our crops as we should be but uh, I think I think we'll manage I think we'll fare pretty well uh, again this is hoping you know of course nothing's for sure so we'll have to just kind of play it uh, play it by ear so to speak and we'll just kind of have to see what happens here it is definitely nice you know with us not going to be raking all these ditches. Um, it is definitely nice with these trees because you don't have to worry about these trees at all. Uh, you know, worry about trying to rake around them or anything. Which is going to be super duper helpful because they are usually a pain to try and get around. So. We don't have to worry about them. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we're just about done with this one. And then we can do that little patch over there. And then do that little bit that I missed in that one. And then there's a little bit of stuff that I need to do in... Uh, you know, in the ditches that I cut where I did one pass up and one pass down, uh, there is a little bit that I need to pick up up there that uh, I had to go around. Or, like, I just did one pass alongside the road, and so then there's some more stuff, you know, a couple more passes in that we can cut, but I just, you know, you, yeah, I couldn't do it in more than one pass. Or in one pass, I had to do it in more than one pass. That's what I meant to say. I know I probably should be lifting the header, but it kind of takes a while to pick up and drop down, and I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going and get this hay done. <laughs> couldn't wait to start it, and I can't wait to finish it. But the only reason I couldn't wait to start it and couldn't wait to fin and can't wait to finish it is because then that means we are one step closer to harvest and one step closer to uh, actually starting our dairy cattle.
or our dairy operation. So I guess we'll uh, pick it up. I'll just remember to drop it down a little bit sooner and stuff like that. So we are almost done, finally, with this patch. Anyways, <laughs> not uh, not quite done with hay for the season, or for the for this first cutting, I guess I should say. It definitely will be kind of interesting to haul all these ditch bales out, uh, off. Sheesh, if I could talk correctly today. <laughs> um, it is probably going to be pretty interesting hauling them off of here because of all these big hills and stuff like that. Uh, they'll probably kind of be a little bit interesting to haul up these hills and stuff. Um, I know somebody's probably going to have pointed out at some point already or will point out that oops, uh, it was kind of pointless to buy um, a bale trailer when we have the PJ trailer. Yes, but the only reason for that is because the PJ trailer that I have bought right now is the version with dynamic uh, attacher which is basically the locking script for like vehicles and stuff and that does not work with bales so if we were to load bales onto the trailer that we have it would not work at all um, so like you know if we were to have to buy bales we'd also have to lease um, a PJ trailer that has the tension belts on it or straps um, you know we'd have to lease the one with straps on it I didn't want to have to buy it. I mean, in the future, we may buy that one when we get a little bit larger of an operation. Although, I did download a truck from American Eagles Modding. Um, it's a flatbed truck. And it should be right here it is. You can see it's got a flatbed on it. So this thing, it's got a few different engines in it. Uh, Cat CT9, a Cat C9, a CT13, or a C15. So you can go anywhere from 350 horsepower to 625, and then you can choose your color or whatever. But it's got the, uh, it's got straps on it, and then the flatbed, so you can haul hay with it. So I have a feeling in the future, if we don't, you know, that's if we don't start using a, uh, 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 auto load trailer which I have a feeling we may in the future um, then we can use that truck and that'll get our hay hauled just as well um, okay so we're going to go ahead and do this ditch over here Suppose we could turn our hazards and beacon on while we're cutting them on side the roads and stuff. So we just have like three fields left to cut, um, and they're all fairly smaller. So it shouldn't take too terribly long, and they should give us a decent amount of hay, hopefully. I mean, they're not like super tiny or anything, but. They aren't the largest of things either. But they sh should uh, give us a pretty decent amount of hay, I would uh, assume. So 
So I'm not going to cut any farther than this in terms of in terms of ditches. I think this is about the farthest that will go uh, right here. Uh, unless we absolutely need to cut more and you know like if we have to cut more hay now like I mean we could just wait until second cutting but if we needed to cut more now where like we're we're super close to the amount of hay that we need but you know I don't want to wait until we can do a second cut then I'll probably just cut a little bit farther from home uh, on these ditches but so this one I'm gonna cut just up here a little bit I mean, there is plenty of stuff around fields and all that too that we can cut so <clears throat> there's plenty of options that's for sure so we'll just cut up to here I think that will be good Should be able to get hopefully a pretty decent amount of hay off of all these ditches in addition to our few hay fields here. I really don't see why we wouldn't get you know a fair amount of hay. Uh, we have been so far getting quite a bit so I mean that 16 may not seem like very much off of that little field that we had bailed, but for the size of that field, it's actually not that horrible. Come on, lift up. Uh, it's actually a relatively decent amount. I mean, it's not, not that big. So, with all of these other places that we're cutting, we should, uh, should sit pretty decently. Alright, so we just got this little piece and then we can work our way back. Another thing that's definitely going to take two tractors is moving these bales uh, otherwise the only other option would be to keep unhooking and hooking the bale trailer onto the loader tractor but I don't really want to do that I would like to just hook it onto a tractor and leave it on there I mean we are still gonna have to like transport everything all over the place but uh, that's where follow me model come in handy uh, extremely handy actually because we can drive the tractor with the bale trailer on it and then have the loader tractor on follow me mod and then we'll be able to get our uh, hay hauled that way and it should work just fine alright so actually I guess I didn't need to shut that off Yeah, just a little section here. It would be kind of neat if you could actually cut these different grasses that are here. It would be kind of nice. Wouldn't have to cut around them all the time. Otherwise, if you cut through them, then it's kind of hard to see the windrow. much longer we got another 10 minutes left on the timer here so that should give us enough time to finish up these ditches here and I think we'll probably have at least one more video of swathing 
um, for before we start raking and baling uh, we'll rake all of the uh, end rows on fields you know like anything that has to be baled before we can um, continue raking we'll uh, rake all that and then we'll bale you know everything that we have to bale to continue raking and then we'll bale all these ditches and stuff too and then we'll uh, continue on to everything else I haven't really figured out a good way to get into that little piece right there. Um, it is kind of surrounded by like the odd type of grass and stuff, so I don't know, I might just have to uh, just drive right through it or something, I guess. So now we'll work on uh, picking up the rest of the stuff in these ditches and then We'll be ready to start on that little patch, and then those two fields up there. I keep wanting to click my right mouse button to bring up course play so I can use the cursor to show you guys what I'm talking about, but I keep forgetting that uh, I have it course play set to right control or left control delete right now for uh, so that way I can use the right mouse button to open and close the door on this swather. forgetting it. Okay, so now we'll pick up the last couple passes in this chunk. We'll try not to put our slother in the pond, because that would not be fun. So I'm not sure if there's much of anything else this way that we can cut. No, there's not. So we'll just turn around. Ooh. I got a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so now we'll just head over and we'll uh, start that little patch over there. I think when I bail these ditches, we'll head up on the left side of the road, you know, looking backwards, of course. We'll head up on the left and then come back down on, you know, our left now, I guess, but come back down on that side so that way we can um, pick up those pieces a little bit better. Cut this to just up here. Well, there should do that. And yeah, we'll just have to kind of drive through this grass here and start cutting. I'll just pick a place to drive through and cut. I'm not going to cut when I go through it. Ooh, I don't want to take out the sign. I'm not going to cut when I drive through this stuff. But uh, I'll cut when I get on the other side of it, of course. So we're going to go start in this corner, I think. Right there should do it. about done with our first cutting uh, at least in terms of swathing it that is we 
just got those two littler fields left. I guess they're, compared to this little thing, they're ginormous, of course, but they're uh, still fairly small. But they should, uh, I think after we bale all of this, we should have enough hay for the winter. Or the rest of the year, I should say, I guess. At least until spring. Still uh, sitting pretty well for fuel in this thing, which is excellent. It doesn't really use a whole lot of fuel, though. I think my, let's see, the liter, liters an hour usage is, yeah, it's usually, in, it's most always under 10 when we're actually swathing. Of course, like turning around and stuff, it goes a little higher, but when we're actually swathing, it's pretty low so that's uh, that's a plus we're saving a lot on fuel at least for this thing anyways we've got other stuff that just drinks it up done with um, ditches and now we can move on up to our other field up here let's see we got 220 on the timer here so we'll just get this thing up to the field and then um, I will I'll probably do this littler one here off camera and then in the next video we can do that other one and hopefully that'll be the end of uh, our season's hay making. Some of this stuff I don't know how much I'll get to rake either because of some of these turns and corners and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to cut too close to that edge there. I really don't want to risk going in that water. Although it doesn't look like it gets too deep too fast, but I still don't want to risk it. <laughs> I'd rather leave some of this grass than risk uh, going in that water. But yeah, so like I said, I'll cut this thing off camera, and then tomorrow we will uh, cut that other one. That uh, last field there that we're going to cut for the season, um, or for this round anyways, I guess. And then uh, we'll get to raking and baling it, and then hauling all of these bales, and uh, seeing where we're at for hay. Maybe we might have to move our equipment a little bit farther from home and cut a little more, or else we'll, uh, or else we'll have enough. We'll have to see but that is going to do it for this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my pc specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool youtube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow